Okay, Heather, hard to believe that where I'm standing was what's known as the Death Strip. This is Potsdamer Platz in Berlin, one of the key places in this city, but this was where the wall stood. In fact, all of these markers for Sunday's ceremony will illuminate showing where the wall went, where it once stood, and where it was torn down, sometimes by people with hammers, by with rocks, with anything they could find. Of course, that being 25 years ago Sunday. Speaking of the wall, there is actually a portion of it just straight down here behind this yellow truck. It's there for display purposes. There are some people, in fact, dressed up as East German guards, but it gives you a sense for all those who have come into this city about what happened all those years ago. And Potsdamer Platz is really a great example of how this city has rebuilt in the quarter century since. Not really all that long when you think about the amount of building that had to take place. There was nothing here in the way that there is now, and this is now the busiest intersection in what is already a very busy city. Cost them three trillion dollars by one estimate over those 25 years to really get this, this country reunified, taking all the East German industry, which was outmoded, outdated, and bringing it up to modern times, taking away a lot of the old Soviet-era block apartment buildings, bringing them up to modern codes. That $3 billion is still ongoing because people still pay a tax, 5.5%, and they're going to be paying it for some time to come, trying to continue this reunification. That's been a source of some friction. On Sunday, we're going to see the big ceremonies. We're going to see symphonies, we'll see youth orchestras, we'll see fireworks, we'll see lots of speeches. And of course, who will be giving a speech? Angela Merkel, who is the chancellor, of course, of Germany now, was living in East Germany 25 years ago. And what did she do on that fateful Thursday when the wall was open, when people started streaming from the east into the west? Well, she did what she always did. She went to the sauna.